Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about one of the most important topics for the USMLE, the diffusion lung carbon monoxide. This basically tells you the diagnosis far more accurately than the history. In the given scenario, they will mention the DLCE ratio either less than 70% or more than 70%. DLCO refers to how much carbon monoxide is diffused through the lung. In other words, how much gases in the air gets into the blood. If it was less than 70%, then the diagnosis has to be a COPD. And so, we have three options, either emphysema, chronic bronchitis, or asthma. And they will also mention in the history either low DLCO, normal DLCO, or high DLCO. If it was less than 70% with low DLCO, this is emphysema. If it was normal DLCO, this is chronic bronchitis. And if it was high, this is asthma. Again, these findings are very specific for these diseases. So for example, if they give the ratio less than 70% with normal DLCO, this is definitely chronic bronchitis. Even if the history strongly suggested asthma, for example. Anyway, if the ratio was more than 70%, DLCO refers to how much carbon monoxide is diffused through the lung. It is low in emphysema because the alveoli are damaged and the surface area is greatly reduced, and so the diffusion of carbon monoxide will also be decreased. Chronic bronchitis mainly affects the bronchus and it doesn't affect the diffusion per se. Asthmatic patients have chronic shortness of breath and so their lungs will be hypervascularized. So, more surface area and more diffusion, and that's why we have high DLCO. On the other hand, if the ratio was more than 70%, it has to be a restrictive lung disease. And if the DLCO was low, it has to be other sarcoidosis, asbestosis, or heart failure. If it was normal, this is a muscular deformity such as scoliosis, and if it was high, this is obesity. In sarcoidosis, asbestosis, and heart failure, the alveolar wall is very thick, and so the diffusion is less. In the muscular deformity, the patient might have some breathing problems, but the alveoli themselves are completely healthy, and so the DLCO will also be normal. And obesity has high DLCO, likely due to the expansion of volume and hypervascularity as well. And here's a small quiz. And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.